Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 Ranked Wi-Fi Battles. Or Ranked Battles, I actually haven't really given this series a name, have I? I might call it Boost to the Top. I actually used to call it Boost to the Top when I was on the 3DS um, playing Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Ranked. Uh, however, we are now in Sword and Shield, and to appease to the algorithm, I can't have cool names. But yeah, uh, we're going to be rocking this Charizard team still that I showcased in the previous episode. Uh, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Let's try to hit 200 likes, 150 likes, either one. I'd appreciate any amount. Um, and yeah, any likes that you give me, any comments you give me, those all help the channel immensely. They help me grow. They are very, very helpful to me, and I appreciate all of them. Uh, so to help out with you guys helping me, go ahead and answer the common question of the day, which is, what is your favorite archetype to run in this format? Is it sun? Is it rain? Ignore my haircut. It looks weird in the webcam right now. I don't have a haircut. It's more the, it's more the lack of a haircut that's bugging me. But yeah, here's the team. Uh, once again, the code will be in the description down below if you if you guys want to use it. And yeah, there isn't really much much else I want to talk about. Um, I'll try to I'll try to keep this session a little bit more chill. I definitely need to start taking Pokemon a little bit more seriously, uh, or at least these practice sessions more seriously, because I am going to be attending Collinsville this year, and I really, really want to do well and get some CP there. So let, let's let's start let's start trying to take this a little bit more seriously. You know, I'm like lecturing you, but I'm also lecturing myself. <laughs> I, I'm lecturing myself. I'm not lecturing you guys. You guys can do whatever you want. Laugh at me. <laughs> All right. An opposing trainer has been found. Elbow. Ooh, Elbow. Wait, bro, do I know you? Are you a subscriber? I feel like I know Elbow. I feel like Elbow's in my Twitch chat all the time. All right, I'm probably going to get like a... Oh, you know what? That's a Gudra. I feel like this is definitely the same Elbow. All right, let's 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 do our best not to lose to a subscriber. It's a bad look. It really is. No matter how great you guys are at this game, it's a bad look for me to lose. Because <laughs> it's like, why, why aren't you guys making the videos at that point? <laughs> All right, uh, so we see both Grimmsnarl and Whimsicott. We also see an Arcanine, a Gudra, a Gyarados, and a Milotic. I wish I had an Electric-type right now. Electric-types would tear up this team. They have one resist. Um, however, it looks like Rain Mode is my best bet. Um, Rain Mode definitely seems like it's my best bet. I can go for a just straight-up Rain lead um, with Ludicolo and Pelipper. They don't have much for Ferrothorn except the possible fire move on the Gudra and the Arcanine. I don't think Arcanine's going to show up to this game because we really just tear that thing up. Like, we, we really tear it up, guys. <laughs> and I think my last Pokemon, um, it might be Charizard. I mean, all I have is Hurricane and Tailwind, I believe. Or Hurricane and Solar Beam. I'm not sure how helpful he would be. Uh, Tempted to go Sableye for the extra fake out Pokemon, but Dracovish is also calling my name. Um... We'll go Dracovish. It's been a minute since I've used Dracovish, and I feel like, regardless of the fact that there are tons of water resists on this team, uh, with the rain up, you know, Fish's Rind is two at KOing pretty much everything anyways. Also, apologies if my in-game audio is too loud. I'm always really, really cautious about how loud that is, because I'm not sure if it's too loud or too quiet. I, I seem to never have it right. I need a shave. I just have, like, an annoying amount of facial hair. It's very slight. It's very slight facial hair, but it's the type that's annoying. All right, Ludicolo Pelipper. Um, this should be a free fake out. The only thing, the only thing I'm concerned about is the um, Thunderbolt going into my Pelipper. It'd be nice to keep Helper around for a little bit. But I think here I can go for this. Do I even need the Tailwind? I really don't need the Tailwind. I'm scared of a Sludge Bomb as well. I think I should definitely Dynamax turn one, Max Hailstorm. And get as much damage off on the Scoodra as I can. So I'll go for a Hurricane as well. I'm more concerned with taking on the Gudra than anything. Because once Gudra gets going, it gets going. Like, I've seen that thing Dynamax and go for Max Ooze and such. And it's just, oof. It's not a, it's not a fun time. The Arcanine comes out most likely to go for Snarls and such. Um, but I feel like I'm fine. Let's see. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm really hoping they don't Dynamax. Uh, if they do Dynamax, we're in actually kind of a pickle, because I'm not going to be doing, like, anything to them. Like, Life Orb Max Hailstorm is going to be doing a chunk, but not not without the, uh, or not if they Dynamax, you know? Once I think it's double HP, it's really tough to break through. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm concerned. I'm big concern. Because I'm also going to be getting rid of my hail here. I'm going to be getting the hail up and getting rid of my getting rid of my my uh, rain, which I really should have thought about before I went for this play. Hopefully this does a decent amount. Yeah, no, no. Gudra's, Gudra's a tough one. That's definitely a salt vest, too. Can I confuse you? That'd be amazing. Alright, cool. We're, we're good, guys. I just have to get I just have to get really lucky. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're not losing yet. We're fine. Um... So I'm not faster than the Gudra anymore? Well, I am timid. I am a- I believe I'm timid max speed. Um, I could just go for a max geyser onto that Arcanine right now. Uh, and is it worth it to keep Pelipper around? Kinda. I'm, I'm concerned about the dragon moving to the Pelipper more than anything, but, um... Might just want a Tailwind right now. I'll go for the Tailwind and the max geyser. So we'll keep our eyes off of Gudra for a second. There's the Snarl. It, ooh, you're a fast boy. Oh, I, guess, I guess that's to be expected. I mean, I got rid of my rain. <laughs> I got rid of my rain. I definitely should have thought about that before I went for the, uh, the really dumb play. But I won't lie. The, the damage on Gudra is very nice. The only thing is this is not KOing that Arcanine. Okay, it is KOing that Arcanine. Thank you, Life Orb. I really appreciate you. Let's see if we can get lucky again. Nope, there's the max lightning. That's cool. That's fine. Minus one on my boy. Not amazing, I'll be honest. I don't think I like that too much. But the rain is up again. Um, I'm thinking what I should do is just go for a... I'll make the Ferrothorn play right here. Ferrothorn can deal a lot of damage to Gudru if I can get a few body presses off while the rain's up. What I'm really concerned about is the fire move that it could possibly have. Or there's a Whimsicott. Um, unfortunately, they're definitely going to want to go for a Tailwind here. Which is kind of problematic for the for the Dracovish I have in the back. Hmm. Controversial play, but I think I need to double into this Whimsicott right now. Yeah, there's the Helping Hand, so no Tailwind for them. Um, I should be able to knock them out this turn. If they're Helping Handing something, I'm assuming it's going to be a Fire-type move. Because that would probably be able to knock out my Ferrothorn now. Come on. Come on, bud. Yeah, you don't want to hurt me. <laughs> I'm getting really lucky with that Hurricane. That, that Hurricane's... Ooh, that Hurricane's really pulling through for me. Pelipper is the MVP of this game already. And it looks like the rain's up for good now. Um, I can just double into that Grim Snarl. Uh, Gudra should... I should be able to take care of Gudra with Dracovish just going for um, a Ficious Ren later on. So I'll, I'll take care of that in a second. It's already lost a decent amount of health. I think it's within Ficious Ren range. So we'll go for the Scald under the Grim Snarl as well as this Gyro Ball. The Body Press might have actually done more, but play it safe, you know? Play it safe. I feel like body. I feel like body press might not be as strong as gyro ball, and we also get stab on gyro ball. So, eh. And we are minimum speed, so yeah, yeah. Gyro ball was definitely the play. I'm assuming a reflex is gonna go up though. Yep, there it is. Scald should. Uh, Scald should still do a chunk though. Because, like, the rain kind of cancels out the fact that we're at minus one. And we're also life orb, so we're, you know, we're doing a good amount. There's the sludge bomb. So that's what he wanted to go for this whole time.
So we've seen Sludge Bomb, we've seen uh, Thunderbolt, we've seen a couple of things. However, we have not seen a fire move yet, and that's what's concerning. I'm hoping he doesn't have a fire move, but most Gudra sets definitely have, um, they, they definitely have like Fire Blast, Thunderbolt, Draco Meteor, and Sludge Bomb. So this is actually a really tough call. Um, I gotta do it. I gotta fish this around the Grim Snarl and go for this Body Press. Or possibly a Leech Seed. I'm assuming he's Hydration, if anything. We'll go for it. There's the Fake Tears. Okay. So we went for it into my Dracovish, which is pretty interesting, because that kind of tells me that he might not have a Dragon move, because any, any Dragon move should have knocked me out from that range. Alright, there's the Draco. The minus two is actually really good for me now, because it makes it much easier for Ferrothorn to stall this thing out with Leech Seed. Critical hit didn't matter. Special attack drop definitely matters. And it is Sap Sipper. Okay, this is problematic. My Tailwind's gone. Um, yeah, I have to start clicking Body Press. Or actually, how many turns of Reflector left? Three turns. Yeah, I have to Body Press now. No, they only have Thunderbolt. Okay, I think I win. A lot has to go wrong for me to lose. We're good. We're good. I won. But I'm curious, what's your what's your last move then? I mean, you have Sludge Bomb, you have Thunderbolt, you have Draco Meteor. Is it just two dragon moves? Is that what you're running? Or do they actually have Protect? Am I wrong? Is this a Berry Gudra? And it actually just takes Max Hailstorm that good? No, it's Assault Vest. What's your item? What's your item, you magnificent beast? Critical hit. No paralysis. We're good. Okay, so we, we just pulled that one. Like, I'll be honest, I wouldn't say out of nowhere. It was definitely going my way as soon as I got the confusion. But I will say that it was kind of cheap how we won that one. I will say that. But that's the game we play. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. I've recently been testing Thievil out. Like, I know Thievil isn't like... Oh, wait, I wanted to see that. I'm stupid. Okay, we'll continue battling. I know Thievil isn't like a top-tier Pokemon, but I've been running it with Ndidi. And it's actually a fun time. It's a really fun time to use. Um, and yeah, I just... I might bring Thievil to a local tournament sometime soon. Test it out. See how it goes. But as of right now, I think it's just like a good Pokemon in, in the right context, team-wise. But besides that, it's like, eh, it's not very good. You have to run like Unburdened Psychic Seed for it to do anything. And this is a hard Trick Room team with... Ooh, the little devil, more Peko. All right, um... Let me think. I always say that, let me think, let me think. <laughs> what is our best way of knocking that Dusclops out and preventing Trick Room? Um, I don't think we really have a great way. I think we have, we have to just play into the Trick Room, which that's where Sableye comes in, which is really, really nice. I've been meaning to try out Sableye. And I'm not sure how Quash interacts with Magic Bounce. I'm not sure. That, I'm going to have to look into that, but it, it's definitely definitely not a completely losing game. Um, get the Dracovish out here. I definitely want Ferrothorn, I think. Maybe. Ferrothorn could be nice in the end game. Um, if I can play around that, that Torkoal. I think I will bring Ferrothorn, because it's nice for the, it's nice for the Gigalith. Um, I just have to be really, really careful with Torkoal. Alright. Or Peko and Zwerklop. <laughs> so 
So unfortunately, no, I do not have a, uh, I do not have a taunt user on this team. I feel like the best I can do is just go for a fa or a will o wisp into that Morpeko is probably the best play. Will o wisp into Morpeko, try to fish us run the Dusclops. If it doesn't work out, it's whatever. Because, like, I can I can just start clicking Quash. I just can't Quash that more Peko is the issue. Because it is a Dark type and this is Prankster. And I just said that. I literally just said that as I did that. I am an idiot. <laughs> like, literally, as I said it, like, I, I slowly realized exactly what I clicked. I hate you more, Peko. I always think that it changes from Electric to Dark type whenever it does that. But no, it's just Aura Wheel. Alright. So what do? <laughs> kind of in a tough spot here, yeah? <laughs> Um, I can switch to my Ferrothorn, I guess. But for now, I'm just going to foul play this more Peko. Get that Ferrothorn in. Like, right as I said it, it, like, hit me. I'm like, oh, no. That Nightshade is a little bit annoying because Sableye doesn't have the best HP stat. This foul play should do an you know, okay amount. More Pekka doesn't have great defenses. And I can body press it next turn. Alright, cool. And an interesting interaction here is that the More Pekka is just getting faster. Uh, something I want to do this turn is go for a Will-O-Wisp into that Dusclops. While it doesn't make a difference in the damage output, it does make it so if I want to stall it out in the endgame, it makes it easier for me to have a higher HP stat than it when the uh, when the timer runs out. So I'm just I'm just trying to think ahead here. All right, that's definitely going to be Torkoal. So I think I can win this game with my Ferrothorn if I keep it alive. Um, I could... Here's the thing, like, Ferrothorn is integral to beating this this team. Um, but I can't stay in with Sableye or Ferrothorn here. I have to pull a double. I think what I have to do is... Sack my Ludicolo. And bring out Dracovish. It should be able to take the Eruption, especially since it's not at max power. And then what this will do is it'll make it so um, Ludicolo should die to, a, to an Eruption. Or at least to Eruption plus Nightshade. And then the following turn, I can Quash and go for a Ficious Rend. Alright, Ludicolo actually lived, which is actually really cool. Oh, are you kidding me? What kind of play was that? <laughs> what kind of play was that, man? Don't do this to me. Alright, um... I have to go for the fake out into the Torkoal. And just raw Ficious Rend. Yeah, I was really expecting him to uh, double into the... Double into the Sableye slot. Alright, that's not doing much. However, we do outspeed it this turn. Um, how do I do this? I should be able to knock it out with the Scald this turn and just go for the Ficious Rend into the into this Dusclops, because the Ficious Rend is going to be stronger into Dusclops than it is into Torkoal. Or it's going to be more useful going into Dusclops, because it's doing more damage than Scald. And now that Torkoal is gone, I feel a lot more comfortable winning with Ferrothorn. And we have one more, <laughs> we have one more turn of Ludicolo possibly doing something. I'm not sure if this thing has Pain Split. It probably does. But if it doesn't, it's it's going to be going down in a few turns here. Alright, 
right, that's fine. Um, what I'll do here is, interesting to note, he is sturdy. He's sturdy. Um, and he's probably weakness policy as well. So I want to Ice Beam here. I want to Ice Beam just for damage and to not set off the weakness policy. I'm going to switch in my Ferrothorn. Probably gonna rock slide. Nope, you Dynamax. It's okay. I also haven't Dynamaxed yet, so I think Ferrothorn might be a prime candidate. I really don't like that I have to Dynamax my Ferrothorn, but I, that's just how it's going right now. <laughs> Nightshade. Alright, so we're definitely gonna be eating a rock or a ground move here. Uh, luckily, we can burn this guy next turn, which is really, really nice. Uh, and let me think. So I can burn him, survive a hit, and go for my Dynamax in the next turn. Because I, I do have a berry on this Ferrothorn, so I will be able to take an extra hit. Um, yeah. Oh, it's already burned. What am I saying? Oh, no. I'm stupid. I, I'm, like, forgetting everything. This game's flustering me so much. Alright. We're gonna burn it. We're gonna go for the Leech Seed. He may max guard here, but... Like, Ferrothorn's my best bet of winning this game. Like, I, I need to reduce damage output as much as I can. And if I can if I can sap some health off of him for the next few turns, I'm in a good spot. I just really can't afford to activate that weakness policy. Alright, we're taking a chunk here. Give me my berry. And I think now is the time where I start max steel spiking. And he does too. Luckily, we do live that. So we might be able to stall out the, the Trick Room for a bit. Going to be getting a bit of health back. I'm certain this thing's got a weakness policy. Especially since it doesn't have Sand, uh, sand Stream. It's like, it's got to be running some whack stuff. Like, sturdy to help him live the hit. Alright, uh, here I should probably just foul play into this boy. And go for the KO with a max steel spike. His body press is my friend now. I just need that defense boost. If he has haze, I'm going to be in big trouble, though. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So he really didn't want me recovering health. You in a pain split here? Alright, Golden Boy. Ferrothorn's the Golden Boy of this team. Like, any issues the team has, Ferrothorn's, are they just like, alright, I guess I'll take this one. <laughs> Oh, it's close. If I can land this foul play, he's gonna get KO'd. Don't you dare pain split, man. Nightshade, okay. Alright, he's in dark type mode. Um, I'll send him the Dracovish. Dracovish is just gonna die. This is literally just a Ferrothorn 3v1 at this point. Luckily, everything is either a physical attacker or a Dusclops, so I'm not in a horrible position. I'm just in a really, really sticky one. Go for the Ficious Rend. Go for the Max Steel Spike. We have to double into that Dusclops to win. Because it might come down to timer otherwise. 
and I really don't want him being able to throw out nightshades much longer. I'm, I'm really curious what his last move is. Alright, we do manage to sneak that KO. It didn't look like it was going to KO for a second, but we're good. I think we win now. Because I should be able to just body press this game, like this game, to the point where I'm like, I'm fine. Like I, I my defense is huge. I can body press everything on the field. And we did break the possible sash on that Morpeko as well, so I should probably just go for it this turn with the body press. Or a Max Knuckle. Nah, it doesn't make sense to Max Knuckle here. Uh, I'll Max Steel Spike, or I can... I'm going to Max Guard this turn, because I don't want to take damage. And I feel like the damage I... No, no, I just Max Steel Spike. I was going to say, I feel like the damage I take is much worse than the damage I miss out on by not clicking Protect. Or by clicking Protect, you know? That's fine. If you want to lower my attack set, that's fine. I'm not using it anymore. I'm, I'm all defense now. Wow, we are still doing a ton. For a resisted hit at minus one, I mean. Alright. I definitely have to body press this turn. Or maybe not. It's probably going to die on the... No, it's not. I was going to say, it might just die on my iron barbs anyways, but I should definitely body press. There's the parting shot. That's fine. Rock slide. Ooh, you're going to be annoying. Don't you dare flinch me. I need to land this body press and I win. No, I'm going to get timer stalled. I'm going to get timer stalled. He's going to take maximum amount of turns for the or maximum time for the next couple of turns. I have to land this body press and one more body press onto the um onto the Gigalith. That's how I win this game. Oh, I'm about to get timer stalled so hard. That flinch might have lost me it. Yep, he's, he knows. He knows I, he has to wait. There are three minutes left, and we have like 45 seconds to make our turn. So, if I get flinched this turn, I'm in, I'm in trouble. I'm hoping that this Morpeko does net protect. Because if you didn't know, um, two minutes until the battle ends, come on, don't you dare flinch me. In fact, miss your rock slide. That's the best thing. He lands it. Don't you dare flinch me. Don't you dare, man. Oh my god, we lost the game to this. We lost the game. Ah! <laughs> I'm so mad. I am actually so mad about this. I had that game. I am so upset about this. Because there were two minutes left, we have to go through all these animations. And if he has protect on that thing, then he just wins. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate. Because all he has to do is not click anything. These parting shots don't even make a difference to me. Like, he's he could be reducing damage, but, like, he's not. There we go. Finally. Okay, that was so annoying. Now I just lose because of HP. Communicate faster. Maybe he'll mess up and click a move. If he messes up and clicks a move, I'd be so happy. But nah, he doesn't have to. 
I am so salty right now. I try to stay positive, guys, but this is like the most annoying way to lose. Yep, there's the protect. Critical burn dies. <laughs> 102 HP. Look how close this game was. Look at those two health bars. Look at those two health bars. That is so annoying. Oh well. That that's that that is the game that we play, guys. If you guys enjoyed this session more than I did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Uh, I am going to live stream and try not to lose as hard. Because that was that was the most defeating loss I have ever taken. More so than the Pukamuku, or than the, uh, <laughs> more so than the uh, Pin Urchin one. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more Pokemon content. With that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night. See you soon.